Yes, good evening everybody. It was a tough week for the Melbourne Storm with their wrestling tactics once again being widely scrutinised. Here it was on the back page of the Daily Telegraph. Yes, and the week didn't get any better with their loss to Canberra and when Ca Storm captain Cameron Smith was penalised, referee Ben Cummins left him in no doubt as to what it was for. I just want some clarification as to what that penalty was uh, there. Rubbish on the face, mate. And it was you. <laughs> well, mate, rubbish on the face? Yeah. Okay, no worries. I can only time. say it so many times, mate. Yeah, and I can't tell you anymore, Cameron, so... Yeah, rubbish on the face, mate. Rubbish... <laughs> Rubbish on the face. Yes. Yeah, rubbish what on is, the what face. What does rubbish on the face well, mean? Well, we've got vision of the tackle here. I think it's quite clear. If you see this, they go in. Here he goes in for the tackle. And there you can clearly see that's the bag from the ring that his wife got from the NRL. Oh, for his 400. Oh, that's the ring. Yes, you are right. That was a complete load of rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I have to say, though, I do feel a bit for Cameron on this one. There is no really? consistency across the league. There's not. He gets penalised for rubbish on the face. But then on Friday night, Nathan Peets gets away with junk on the face with Kane Evans. What do you mean? Well, look at this. Here's Kane Evans is running out. Watch this, Nathan Peets, and there you go. Wish got junk oh. on the face. Oh my god. Look at the other angle here. Tell me, this is a good old-fashioned English breakfast tea bagging with a couple of lumps. Oh my really? goodness. No consistency at all. That is that is crazy. Well, moving on Sorry, and is that, is that, that your ball? No, it's not mine. Whose ball is that? Is that anyone's? Is that Left the ball in here. That's, that's. I don't know where that ball's come from. Anyway, moving on, and with the end of season in sight, Mad Mondays are once again in the headlines. This time, it was former Manly player Sean Lane who attended last year's festivities dressed as Forrest Gump. And well, true to character, he proved that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get because it appears well, he got something that we're still not sure what it was. I don't know. Needless don't know to say, no. needless to say, though, it's not a good look for the game. No, it's not. Yes, with so many of these sort of controversies coming out of Mad Mondays and a fresh round of parties just a few weeks away. I've come up with a bunch of tips to help all NRL players celebrate their end of seasons. If you follow these tips when you're on the booze, your Mad Monday won't make the news. Stop taking photos of yourselves doing illegal shit, you dickheads. If you follow these tips when you're on the booze, I would never have thought of that. That Stayed is amazing. Up all night on that one. That mm. unbelievable. Well, while you think it's the photos, it's a problem. On NRL 360 this week, Kenty floated a different theory. Well, I think dressing up on a Mad Monday when you play dress ups immediately puts you in a frame of mind that you're going to be a little bit cuckoo for the day, and you're probably going to leave your best decisions over to the left. If you're walking around as Barney no, Rubble or not Forrest Gump... Not necessarily. I've done it almost every year. Dress yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone Seriously? Does it. People in normal jobs do it every Christmas party. It's the oh, same thing. mate. You maybe you need to start job. dressing up. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Didn't, wasn't it just last week that I was watching Maddie's show and I, and I saw this? Yeah. Yeah. He dressed up he as... He did. He dressed up as Johnny, Johnny Cash. Cash. It was just last week. It was just last week, but that's where he learned that it's not a good thing. Because after the show, he had a gig at the Central Coast Leagues Club, and look right. what happened. Look, he's still there as Johnny Cash, and, well, he lost the plot. Oh, look God. at him, Kenty. He just got mad, he got mad, and then, well, it got worse when he just collapsed. Oh, Kenty. Oh, my God. Close the curtain. Kenty, Kenty, are you okay? Oh, my God. Never no. so. Maybe Kenty is right. Maybe. Mm. Mm. Well... Whatever the cause of the problems, the Eels took an immediate stand after the photo of Lane emerged. They fined him 17 mm. and a half grand over the incident, which is 10% of his salary. Well, it is a significant fine. In fact, Not The NRL News can exclusively reveal that Lane has started Uber driving to pay the fine off. Really? Yeah, we've got some vision. This is him. He's starting a shift. He's pulling out a training. He nearly crashed. Mike, Mate, Mike, there's, no, there's no Uber sticker on that. That's not an Uber oh, car. Yeah, sorry, not... can we rewind this? Just go back. I'll show you where... It, yeah, trust me, just How go back. Uber. Well, look, if you just keep, if we can keep going back, I'll just show you here. It's definitely an Uber. It's a type of Uber. It's just in the front seat. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's an Uber. That's an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's all from us this week. Back to you, Maddie. Oh.